taking a break from vlogging this week, but I did want to share uh, some of the messages that I've been getting on orders. And uh, it's Monday today, and I wanted to share this this note. Thanks, Ralph, for the videos over the years. It's always a pleasure to see how you have adapted over the years. And now on to bigger and better things. Good luck. Uh, thank you so much for the sizable order, which will take quite a bit of time. So I appreciate that. And uh, nice monetary value as well. So thank you so much for the order and for the support. I appreciate it. Another note on uh, order. Ralph loved the videos, especially day one. Congrats on the new venture, and I wish you the best of luck. Go crush the BrickLink world. Well, thank you for your order. Uh, I appreciate it. Last order of the day has a, another note. Love the vlogs. Congrats on going full time. All the best, Carol. Thanks again for the order. I appreciate it. Still on vlog break till at least tomorrow. I'll start uh, doing uh, some clips tomorrow. But I had another note that sort of made me laugh here. It was pretty good. Good luck with your BrickLink journey. Enjoy the vlogs. Happy to support. Sincerely, Harry Potter never sells, which is kind of funny. Uh, and, and there's some Star Wars in there as well, but uh, a lot of, it got the centaurs, so thank you for that. Those now cheaper centaurs because you add a quiver. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of these uh, one by one tiles. Oh, there's the ducklings. I, I pulled them out. I had it had them in a different order, and I was like, wait, there's zero women, zero quantity. Well, there you go. That's why. Um, yeah, more more tiles, more tiles. Yeah. Cornish pixie. I guess that's something for Harry Potter. Like I said, I don't watch it. And five bags of the Quidditch practice poly bag. So that's awesome. Awesome order. Thank you so much for for coming by and supporting me. Hey, we're back from. Uh, taking a week off of vlogging and today is Thursday March 28th we're almost done with March we're almost done two week two months of full-time can you believe that well let's take a look we've got six orders today uh, 1264 items 220 lots 35362 it's been going in <clears throat> the right direction that's for sure this a lot of what I did over uh, vlogging break was just pull orders. I pulled orders like a lot. I had a 414 lot order uh, on Monday. That was crazy. Uh, here's the biggest one for today. 146 slots, 1106 items, $151.90. So uh, I got a $94 order here, $73 order, and then a couple of 20s. And a, uh, this, one, this one here goes with this one here so yeah, they messaged me and said uh, they wanted to add some more stuff to it so I told them how to do it so uh, we gotta get pulling let's get let's get this done so we can get some uh, more stuff uploaded uploading has been a challenge this week uh, see like I told you Thursday and Friday last week I had to help my wife Tuesday I had to help my wife um, and then uh, the bit, I have had some big orders that has taken some time. Monday was pretty much an order pulling day. Uh, Tuesday, I spent most of the day pulling that 414 lot order. Um, and then uh, yesterday was the first day I was actually able to get something uploaded. So I had had my wife help uh, part out a small set on Tuesday and I got to put that away. I did some minifigures. I got some more minifigures uh, scanned here that need to get, just get put away. It's all it's all ready to go. So uh, yeah, we got we got some things to do. Let's get going. If you're a customer of Bricklink and you're not a buyer, I want I want you to understand there there is cost to sellers that uh, sometimes like when you forget something or you want to cancel that we eat that we cannot get back. So like for instance, if you cancel if you place an order and then you want to cancel it because you changed your mind or you found found the figure that you you just bought i can cancel that and refund you the money but i still have to pay the transactional costs to paypal same thing happens if you as a customer place an order and then oh i forgot some parts how can i add that to my order well, the easiest way to do that in BrickLink is to place another order and I can refund you the shipping cost minus. And what I do is I subtract the transactional cost. So an additional order is going to cost me more in a base uh, fee to PayPal than if you were to just add that to the original order. 
So when somebody asks, hey, can I add these parts? I go, yeah, sure, I'll refund you minus the transactional fee, usually 50 cents. And I say that before they place the order. I did that with this guy uh, yesterday. We had five email exchange yesterday because he also placed a 96 cent order, which is less than my uh, minimum threshold because I had another, I remember in the blog earlier, I had a uh, person that was taking advantage of that. And so I finally put a password, bypass password in there. So they gave him the bypass password to do that. And so this morning I combined the two orders, I combined shipping and I refunded him $5 out of the $5.50 that uh that he paid for shipping and i get this email back it's my fault for reading your message too quickly regarding the second order i thought you said you would refund the shipping cost plus the transaction fee i don't know where that transaction fee came from it's just you know mysterious if i realized it would have been charged an extra 50 cents on a 96 cent order i would have passed now the first order he got free shipping the second order is just tacked on so basically he paid 50 cents for shipping for uh $87, $89 worth of, of parts. Yeah. It cost me an extra, extra, I don't know, almost 50 cents just to be able to receive that, that order. So I, I think it's pretty fair, plus the extra time and effort it took for me to combine those orders. So please keep that in mind with the sellers. This, this kind of sucks receiving that. It's like 50 cents, come on. And I, I gave you the parts that you asked for. Another day, another uh, thing that probably broke because something BrickLink changed and didn't tell everybody. So if you try to, in Brick Store, try to download your BrickLink store inventory now, you get this message that says invalid dev device information. And anything that you want to do with your username, so like if I wanted to, I don't know, download an order, let's uh, try to refresh my order list, I get the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, I bet you BrickLink changed something in the API. I didn't tell everybody or communicate that correctly, and that's what's causing the problems. So, yay for that. If you're using BrickSync, you can get, uh, you can download your, jeez, I hope that still works. You could get a backup of your, um, your inventory from BrickSync and to use that for, uh, pulling in your remarks if you need need to do that until it's fixed well at least my little script that i wrote to uh create a part out for a set still works so it's still pulling in remarks so i'm able to start my next part out so what i am going to do this has been down there for a while this will add 2500 parts it's 522 pieces so i'm gonna do this up real quick because i want to try to add some more parts to the store quickly and this seems to be like a good one to do it's 150 lots so it's not huge so we'll get that going next all right we got that set put away and uh probably put away we'll get that set parted out and we'll get it put away uh tomorrow it is getting kind of late we got uh we got some mail in today we got uh four of these boxes these are uh triple zero padded envelopes monday i emptied out my drawer of padded envelopes for triple zero <laughs> i went to go get more i have like a whole bunch of boxes back there of envelopes now one of them was triple zero i thought i had at least two more of these and uh yeah so i had to make an order so that's uh what is that two thousand 2000 triple zero padded envelopes and uh yeah so i'm good to go there and uh i had my wife my wife was helping me today yeah she was doing a uh we've decided i've decided i need to do an audit i keep running into inventory problems so here's uh eight pages because she wants it printed she doesn't want to use the laptop for this this cabinet right here she found four issues so i have to go through these she said these have more inventory in them than uh what's listed there so yeah i have to I have to check that hey it's friday march 29th and we have three orders today i got slow I got slow today 40 40 items 19 lots 
5887. Which it's good. I need a slow day of order picking this week to uh, get some uploads done. We gotta get that uh, set uploaded. I'll probably pick another set and start um, parting out. Yeah, so uh, Brick Store is fixed. And of course it was something that uh, Bricklink did. Uh, they updated, they pushed out a new login procedure that was launched as a security feature and uh, they've rolled it back. So, you know, with security, you don't, Unfortunately, we did this at, uh, at my other job. Uh, anything security, we roll it out and then tell. Um, but they rolled it out and didn't tell. Um, yeah, so th there's that. So that got rolled back and things just started working again. It wasn't an issue with Brickstore. It wasn't uh, a new update. It sort of coincidentally coincided with a recent update that came out earlier this week. So they, everybody thought it was... Uh, you know, uh, a problem with brick store. It wasn't, it just smelled like, you know, brick link did something wrong. And th there we go. We got the proof. Uh, let's see. I was watching, uh, pops's vlog this, this morning, uh, while finishing up my, uh, my coffee before I got started. And, uh, yeah, so I texted him, uh, last weekend, uh, after, after I finished editing videos, I do video, like I do editing videos like every two weeks now. Um, so I'll, I'll like, capture video for two weeks and then um, do all the do editing for a couple of videos all at once well I was planning to take the week off of um, uh, capturing vlogs and so I decided to take the live um, video I did for brick separators society of me reacting to episode six of the brick separators episode which was us talking about selling Lego full-time and edit it down to from an hour and a half down to like 20 28 minutes and uh um put that out as like episode 13 right it would be, be kind of cool uh i wanted to make sure that derek was informed of that because you know if as a co-host of a show that you did for a year you know and you put out a new episode and he wasn't really a part of it other than you know being a part of the <laughs> the original episode that we're reacting to uh yeah i wanted to make sure he was aware of that that we were i was pushing something out so he uh, he announced that today in uh his vlog today so so if you ever want any like information to go out just text it to to derek he'll he'll let everybody know that that's the moral of that story <laughs> uh okay anyways i'm gonna get pulling and then i'm gonna get uploading because that's what we're gonna do we're going to try to get to 400,000. You know, let me, let's let's go there real quick. Let's go visit the store. We got as close to, oh, as soon as I put the camera there. We got really close to 400,000 last week, earlier this week. We were at uh, 399,200 uh, something. And, uh, yeah, we had some some good, good week of orders. And now we're almost, you know, we're almost 8,000 to 7,200 parts away. So, yeah, we got to get going. We're going to be adding 2,600 parts today with um, uh, this this upload. The, uh, I don't remember what it was. Some Creator 3-in-1 set that I, I, I parted out. So... I, and it actually had two minifigures, which was kind of surprising. I wasn't, I saw minifigure parts. I'm like, wait, does this have minifigures? Because I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get going because I've been babbling long enough. About to upload that uh, creative three in one set, and it's uh, 2,675 parts, 149 lots, for a grand total of $292.75. So well, that's going up now. Getting the uh, next set out for. Part out 322 pieces the uh, sanctuary 2 end game battle so we uh, got five of those so we'll break into this get working on that hey good morning it's uh, Saturday March 30th it's uh, Easter weekend and uh, we're gonna pull some orders before Easter we got eight orders 348 items 117 lots 137 dollars and ten cents Pretty lighter day of orders. Uh, we got a lot of orders though, but uh, most of them are, you know, one lot, one item, two lots, or one lot, 
two items, you know, we only got two orders that have more than, I don't know, handful of handful of lots. So should be a quick pull, uh, pretty quick, which is good because uh, I'm in the middle of this part out here and uh, got one more one more bag left to do, and uh, we'll get that done and uploaded. Went to Walmart last night for you know our Friday night uh, grocery shopping, which Dad bod seems to think is crazy, but uh, yeah, nobody's there on Friday nights. Anyways, Walmart had an end cap of Speed Champions, not specifically this set, but I, I pulled this out just because I had a Speed Champions set there. But, uh, you know, this one's a double car, and this probably would have went for, what, $25, maybe $30. Um, the, uh, the single car ones on the end cap were being advertised for $26.99. They went up in, what, they went up in price $7.00. That's crazy how much Lego sets are going up. It, it's it's almost crazy uh, how, how much these things are now. Um, Lego is just basically doing a, a cash grab. I, I don't understand. It is way too much money for, for $26 for... I don't even know what, how many pieces it was. Maybe about 200 pieces. I don't know. It was just, it was nuts, nuts how much it was. So, inflation, inflation's killing us. That all those price increases are just gonna make, just gonna squeeze, just gonna squeeze us as sellers. That's that's for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna affect us, but it's definitely gonna affect us. It's crazy. Got a couple pieces of mail in this package here, which I've opened up out of already, in this big box here. So let's take a look. So the first one is a uh, minifigure lot. It should be uh, bought from the seller before, and uh, they, they were pretty good quality, only a couple cracks. This is uh, Marvel and uh, Star Wars, it looks like, and a couple CMFs, maybe. So, Lego Movie, I see. Disney. So, pretty good, uh, pretty good haul there, I think what I got for it and the second one is a whole bunch of business cards 5,000 I think I got 5,000 um, I got a $50 off $150 I think it was was coupon so I haven't opened it yet hold on let's take a look and there you go just my standard thank you for your order card with all my socials and uh, yeah, URL, satisfaction guaranteed. So that goes in all of my uh, all of my orders. So 5,000 of those, I say I ordered, I think I only got 1,000 and that uh, that lasted me maybe a year. I, I think I ordered them in May, I think I looked last time. So that lasts me almost a year. So 5,000, hopefully it only lasts me a year. That'd be good, <laughs> that'd be great. I got these sets in yesterday from Amazon, and uh, it'll probably be a quick part out, 140 pieces, but they were on sale for like seven bucks each, so picked them up. I had, uh, could only get three at a time, so three on my account, and three on my wife's account, so I got six. So they're usually like, I don't know, 11 bucks, so seven dollars made them over a 2.0 part out somewhere along that line. It was pretty good, I guess. Hey, it's April 1st, April Fool's Day. I used to hate this day when I was working in tech. It was like, I always would write the day off, like, all right, let's not look at the internet. Because, uh, I don't know, people that had too much time on their hands always came up with stupid stuff. And uh, it, was, it was fun at the beginning of my career, but towards the end of the career, or middle of the career, I was like, okay, this is dumb. Anyways. I was going to write, I had started to write down like 15 orders on Brick All and, you know, 15 lots for a dollar thirty-seven or something stupid like that, but, yeah. Again, I think it's stupid. Anyways, weekend was kind of light. Saturday, no orders all day Saturday. It was kind of weird. Uh, Sunday, we got five orders in. It's it, And that's typically the pattern. Saturday is dead. Sunday starts picking up. Monday hopefully the trend continues, is the best day of the week. 
I don't know. I don't know why that happens. Uh, maybe people are building all weekend, and then Monday they're like, oh, we need all the stuff. Seems weird. Anyways, uh, 944 items, 121 lots, uh, 191, 87. I was up late last night. I was uh, getting all my numbers together, because I always do that at the end of the month at midnight. Come walk down here at midnight, and... Uh, get my order numbers get my all my expenses make sure all that make sure uh, my month is is good and uh, it was a really good really good sales month it was probably the best sales month I had but looking at it with my new perspective of being a full-time seller I hope that is my worst month going forward <laughs> it's like that's how I'm thinking of it right like it uh, yeah, <clears throat> and it's not just like business numbers I was putting together. It was business numbers and seeing how we did for the month personally, and uh, how much, you know, how much money did we need to take from savings to pay all our bills. So, if you're wondering, I will be doing a video for that in the Brick Separator Society. So, if you want to know a little bit more, please join the society. I appreciate it. Got a note on an order, on a BrickLink order, and this comes from a founding member of the Brick Separator Society, V Ball Bob Bricks. And uh, yeah, longtime member to your YouTube channel. Yes, I know who you are. Keep up the good work and uh, best wishes for a full time job now. Thanks for all you do and all your help with it. My questions you have answered in the past. And thanks for, uh, like I said, thanks for being a. Brick Separator Society member, thanks for always uh, watching the videos and uh, asking questions and commenting and engaging. Really do appreciate you and really do appreciate the awesome order that you, you placed. So thank you very much. All right, I got my orders out. So we're going to start on a small part out of six of these uh, Space Construction Mech uh, sets, 140 pieces. Should be able to get it done before lunch. Yeah, things are moving pretty quickly. I've already uh, got all this parted out and it's all on the cart and entered in into the system. So I'm just putting all this away and then we'll get this uploaded. It's uh, 858 items and 67 lots at the moment. I haven't priced it up yet though. And we're uploading. We got it all priced out at $156.42. I spent $48 on it. So three times part up. Not bad for a quick, quick uh, upload. All right, second part out we're going to do today, we're going to finally break into these Wish uh, sets. Asha's Cottage, we bought a couple months ago. They were 50% off at the time when we bought them, so there are six of them, 509 parts each, so 3,000 parts maybe, potentially. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Got three more bags left to do, but uh, I'm pretty much done for today. So I set up the second table over there because I think... Uh, it's like over 200 lots, just over 200 lots. So I don't think it'll all fit on this table. So I set up over here. I got the light bluish gray, uh, medium nougat, uh, reddish brown, and whites over here. I think that'll fill that table. And then I'll put everything else over here. But uh, that's what I'm doing. Yep. Pretty good day, though. Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 2nd. And uh, we had a slower day on Monday. Uh, not as jam-packed as we've seen in the past but uh it wasn't bad either three orders to pull bricklink three orders brick owl i haven't seen you in a few days where did you go 125 items 75 lots 146 17 so not too bad we got one that's got uh 61 lots the other two are pretty quick so let's get going because we need to uh finish parting out the uh the wish set so we can move on to some other stuff. I think uh, we're going to do some <clears throat> finish off the day with the eBay um, minifigs and get those listed. Order number three has a note and it says congrats on going full time. Here's my contribution and I believe me I appreciate the order I love it thank you so much I've been noticing an uptick of orders that have notes that saying congrats on going full-time and keep them coming I love it I'll read every single one on camera all right got that set all parted out it's all on the table it's ready to be put away wasn't too bad got my cart loaded up with the uh, parts that I already have and I'm putting them away 
and I am watching uh, the latest uh, video vlog from Pops and he's watching apparently my live stream from uh, the Brick Separator Society so uh, basically it's like vlogception here going on I'm watching him he's watching me and I'm watching us yes figure that out all right I got this wish set all put away and uh, priced out that's ready to be uploaded and it's actually already been uploaded 3,120 pieces 210 lots 72 of those were brand new to the store six hundred and thirty nine dollars and twelve cents that's a four times part out value because i got them at twenty five dollars which was fifty percent off six of those i, I got so uh, that was 150 bucks so yeah that was a really good set to part out and the other thing that's really great is uh, i broke four hundred thousand for the first time hopefully i will wake up under 400,000, but there you go. 400,000, 160 items, 14,215 lots. Gotta love it. Good morning, it's April 3rd. It's rainy and windy out there. We are uh, five days away from the total eclipse and we are in the path of totality. So I will be uh, putting out a camera, Let's try to capture the darkness at least. Um, Big joke for the last year when we knew uh, this was going to happen was that uh, the weather forecast for the uh, the the event would be cloudy. <laughs> it's always cloudy here, so why wouldn't it be cloudy during anything you need to see in the sky? Whenever there's some event in the sky, it's always cloudy. Northern, if northern lights come down, it's cloudy. Some. Uh, Empire's Moon or whatever moon name they've named this time, which is just, you know, the same moon that you see every other time. Yeah, it's cloudy. Anyways, uh, it's building excitement around here. The uh, We're dreading the traffic. Um, we're expecting like 500,000 people to just like descend into our area. So it's, it's kind of, kind of weird. And then uh, we hear like, we should expect like traffic gridlock immediately after for the rest of the day. So it's like, yeah, this is going to be worth it. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, four orders to pull. I think two, these last two orders came in this morning while I was, uh, putzing around down here, but, uh, four orders, 560 items, 99 lots and, uh, $112 and 85 cents. It's, uh, it's pretty light. <clears throat> it's not, uh, not those $300 days we were having last last month so we need to <clears throat> try to bump that up we're going to do like I said yesterday but never got to it uh, we're gonna today is dedicated to minifigures we're gonna sit here and scan minifigures all day so we've got some dead plants here and uh, I've just I've determined that the heating pad is drying these things out too fast so we're gonna take the heating pads off because I think it's I think it's warm enough now where it's not getting really cold down here anymore. Actually, I'm not running my heater a lot. So you can see like the edge where it's not really sitting on the heating pad that's still wet. But everything over here where it's sitting on the heating pad, it's all dry. And, you know, they're flopping down. So I'm losing some of these, I think. And then the other tray that's over there as well is having the same problem. So i got some water. I'm going to water them up. And then uh, hopefully we can save some of these. Yeah, this tray is um, much worse, much, much more uh, wilting going on here. I got them uh, watered up and they're rehydrating, hopefully. And um, I think I think my lesson here is the heating pad's good for germination. And then after that, I should take it off because uh, it was definitely getting too hot and causing, causing these issues here. So um, I think most of these on the outside can be saved. I don't know how many on the inside can be saved here. When the, these ones were like, these ones that fell were like, I thought the dog came into it and was like stomping around in there. But then when this happened, when I noticed this today, uh, yeah, I noticed, I realized there's more a problem because the dog can't reach these ones. And so I'm like, uh, it's, so I pulled them over here and looked at them and noticed the, that they were dried out because specifically because of the, the heating pad. So got those unplugged and pulled out. 
let's put these back under the lights and hopefully they'll recover. Some of these will recover. I pulled some out, hoping that will recover. Some of these will recover that like aren't totally flat on the ground. This one, I don't think it's gonna recover. But these ones, I'm not sure yet. There's a few here that I don't think will recover. So this one's like broken. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I planted like five trays of these. So the other trays are doing fine. They're still moist and wet and um, doing doing good. And I'm gonna rotate them so that they, because uh, they sort of lean towards the light. So like you like you can see here. So I'll rotate them so that they you know they bend go back the other way. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, we're gonna start uh, listing this first lot that I got last week sometime, and uh, we'll get this all cataloged and scanned in and get it listed and uploaded and see how much we got. So far we've found the uh, the winner here, which is this the Scarlet Witch, which is 1466. Comes with the uh, the the cloth cape. What do they call it? Cloth skirt. So yeah, and it's in very good condition. So nice find there. All right, that first batch is uh, catalog put away, ready to be uploaded. It's uh, 90, no, 50 items and 50 lots for $99.50. So quick, easy upload. Got this bin of uh, accessories that have been sitting on my desk for months now, a couple months since I think the last time I touched this was the Super Bowl night. Um, so I'm just gonna mindlessly scan this for a while. It's good mindless stuff to do you don't have to think about it you just scan it put it in the bin go to the next one kind of thing so i will do this for until i get sick of it all right 125 lots 182 items that's about where i'm at that's all i could do this is what i still have left it's quite a bit left yeah so yeah let's uh let's get this listed or get this put away and we'll get this uploaded all right it's all put away 182 items, 124 lots, 26, $28.20. Yeah, laughing about that. Oh, this is why this has been sitting on my desk for a while. All right, back to minifigures. Well, wait, this isn't the end of the video. There's more, we gotta tell them about the society. Joining the Brick Separator Society gets you access to secret society videos like how to videos on how to run your business on BrickLink and BrickOwl and eBay, as well as Ask Ralph videos and maybe our sales reports. You might see all of our numbers. Join today.